Hi, this is Harsh. This is Koel. We have done our masters in robotics from University of Maryland. We have designed a course named Robotics Software Engineering Pico degree. In this course, you will learn and have hands-on experience with ROS as well as VBOTS. At the end of this tutorial series, you will have a fully functional robot designed by you from scratch, which will be able to navigate, localize, avoid obstacles and a lot more. Before getting into details of the course, let's cast a light on why did we start this course? Every day we see a lot of people eager to learn, eager to enter the field of robotics, but they all feel the lack of a good starter pack. As we all can agree that Robotics is a vast field and if you find information on internet, you will be overwhelmed. There is a lot of information which is very difficult to connect the dots and understand concept thoroughly. Hence, it's always better to first get a good understanding and feel of the different pieces of the robotics puzzle. This video series has been designed keeping exactly that in mind where we will go through stepwise understanding and building a concept where at the end of this series, you will be ready to digest heavier concepts in robotics. In this video series, we have seven videos which will take you through stepwise understanding of concept and make you from zero to hero in playing with mobile robots. So let's go through this video, which is video one, where we will teach you how to install require packages. And also we will teach you the steps, how to make your own custom robot. The second video is about URDF, which helps Ross understand the actual physical description of a robot and where the sensors and actuators are actually located. In third video, we will see how actually VBOT services are used in order to on the different sensors. And also we have a cool application where you will be able to control all the functionalities of your robot with just keyboard. In the fourth video, we perform mapping with LiDAR, which helps the robot understand and get a feel of its environment. Now let's talk about elephant in the room. So. In fifth video, we will do navigation where we will use a package named MoveBase where we will integrate cost maps, we will integrate planner in order for robot to go from point A to point B successfully. Now, when the robot is traveling from point A to point B, you don't want it to crash into obstacles or crash into humans. Hence, you need good obstacle avoidance algorithms. And finally, in seventh video, we will use all these concepts to make robot do some real world application. So tighten your seat belts because it's going to be a very exciting journey. So let's start introduction video with hero of the movie. We have a robot named Stark which will be used throughout the series. So let's discuss its features. So first of all, it has four wheel drive. The robot has two axis camera mechanism, which is this blue link goes up and down and this yellow cylinder goes sideways. Robot also has a camera. So you can see here at the tip of the cylinder, there is a camera and you can see frustum of cone projecting out as a camera image. Stark has LiDAR, which will be used for mapping and localization. It also has two distance sensors, 30 degrees apart. One looks on the right and one on the left. The robot has sensors like IMU and GPS, which are situated at the center of robot, which will give us the value of velocity and acceleration of robot and also its coordinate with respect to world. After the introduction of hero of the movie in this series, we will be using this repository, which is in soft illusion slash robot pico degree. So let's start the process where we will make a workspace. 
so m k d i r dash p v bots workspace slash source so we made a workspace name vbots let's go into it so here i will clone this repo so if i control c and git clone so if i do ls i can see my repo is cloned for this video we will be using introduction branch of this repo so we will check out git check out introduction yes so now we are in introduction branch so we see a package named bring up if you are new to git and ros this is a standard procedure where you clone the package after that you do ros dep so all good repositories maintain a list of dependencies so if you go to this page wiki.ros.org/rosdep this will be given in the description so we need to install rosdep in our case we have noetic so it is already installed then we will need to initialize the rosdep so it initialized in this location and we need to rosdep update so it will look for required version of ros which is noetic yeah so now once you set this up for all other repos you need just need to run this command this command will install all the dependencies which are required which are specified in package.xml so let's go to the workspace and paste so you see in our case it is building a repository named ros noetic vbots ros this will be used because we are going to use ros with vbots as a simulator so you see all the dependencies are successfully installed now we will hit catkin make when i catkin make my package is built and i just i need to source my devil setup.bash this command helps ros to understand all the built packages in my repository so now we will do ros launch bring up master.launch so this launch file is specified in bring up package so before launching this let's look at bring up package so in this case i go to desktop vbots workspace so if you see here we have robotics pico degree and we have a bring up package in this we have a launch file which is called master.launch so in this case we use vbots ros package and we launch this world if you see this world we can see this world in worlds so when i launch this file i will be able to open this world so when i hit enter it is spawning vbots and you see here this is the world where we have our hero standing so this robot has all the features which we discussed and if you are interested in knowing how this robot was made or you have some different type of robot for example three wheel robots or two wheel robot or you have different mechanism on the robot i recommend you to go to your browser go to our channel youtube.com/c/softillusion and in this we have a playlist named making custom robot so if you see in this playlist we have how to set up vbots we have how to make custom robot then 
adding distance sensor, adding GPS, IMU, the linear actuator which we have, the rotary actuator on which camera is situated, and finally integration of camera. So there are two ways, one being you can directly clone the package or if you want to be master in robotics, you should go through these videos before starting this series. So this was an introduction video so that next time when we come up with the advanced video on this, you should be ready with other videos and your robot should be similarly standing ready to run. So this was all about today's video. If you like the video, do share and do subscribe to Soft Illusion because we are coming up with a great series. And if you have any questions about different types of robots, do comment. And also comment if you want the series to be extended with any particular application. Thank you.